Pangolin now supports geoblocking natively within the cloud and within managed Pangolin instances. This is super easy to set up, and it actually leverages the rules engine within Pangolin. So I have this uh, site set up already, connected to my local computer, and I have the uh, uh, just a sample Nginx web page here um, that we can show we can access something. So if I go to the rules tab, I can actually enable the rules, and then this typically functions the way you're used to with the IP and the IP range, but now you can also filter by country. So if I select country here, and I happen to be in the United States right now, so let's say I want to filter by the United States, and let's say I want to actively deny that. I can add that rule and apply these changes, and now if I come back here and revisit the page, I'm getting an unauthorized error coming from my managed penguin node because I'm in the United States and it's actually telling me to deny. So if I go back and let's say I instead block Afghanistan and I save this and I go back and reload, it should let me through. So this can be, uh, you can combine these rules to create sort of powerful um, engines of who you want to let in and who you want to let out. A typical configuration I think would be to do something like always deny all countries but then, or actually, uh, let's do it this way. You, uh, let's say you want to allow the United States, and you want to allow a new rule from, let's say, United Kingdom, and one more rule for, let's say, Germany. So these are the three countries that I want to have access to my app, and all other countries I want to deny. So this should be allow. And then I'm going to add one more rule, which is going to be to deny all countries. I can say it'd be setting. So the way you can read this is it'll always allow for the United States, the United Kingdom, and Germany, and then it'll always it'll process them top down here, and then it'll always deny from all other countries. Now, one thing you can do is instead of always allow, you can pass to auth. So what this means is that it, instead of just getting right into the resource, it's still going to force the user to auth. So I'll show an example of that. So if we save this and then I reload the resource, you can see it's currently still letting me through. You can see my current IP address here. Now I'm going to quickly jump on a VPN, and I'm going to jump to a VPN to, let's say, a different part of the world. Let's say, let's see what's available here. Um, let's say I jump to Panama. I connect to that. All right, so now if I reload the page here, you can see my IP is actually different. I'm in an IP from Panama. Now if I visit this page, it's going to give me unauthorized because I'm actually in a different country and I'm being geo-blocked. And if I get off of the VPN and I come back, I can reload this. I'm back home and now I'm allowed. So for one more example, I'm going to go back to Panama and I'm just going to show that I'm back there and then I'm going to show that it's blocked. I'm actually going to come here I'm going to add a rule for Panama, but this time I'm going to have it, uh, I'm going to swap these so that this is four and this is five because you always want that block all countries to be last. And this time I'm going to actually pass to auth. And I will um, save all settings here. And then just to be effective, I'm going to come here to the authentication tab. And I'm going to disable SSO auth so that I have to put in a pin code. And I'm just going to set that pin code as something super simple. So now, if I uh, just check again, I'm in Panama. If I visit this resource, it actually should be, oh, I got to save this. Now it's going to actually present me with this login code. And then if I log in, it'll pass me through. So if I type the code, now I'm let through into Panama, into the resource. So that's a basic overview of how you could do geoblocking in Pangolin with the new country-based rules.